Hey guys, it's your boy Firefox and welcome back to the channel. Now with today's video, we're gonna take a grain of salt as we go through the story that was leaked on 4chan. Now, of course, it might be a little too early to get leaks of this sort, but I said that we should probably just go through it because you never know, these things may be through or may hold some truth to them. So sit back, relax, and listen to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet story and plot. So first off, and I'll put the 4chan post on the screen for you guys to see, they said there aren't going to be any gyms. Now in the trailer, we did see a couple of buildings that could potentially be gyms. However, in other videos, persons will say they are research centers, which means that the no gyms theory might be a thing. Another game without gyms following that right after Pokemon Legends Arceus may not be a good idea, but I guess they have a lot more for us to do in the game that doesn't require us to have a gym focus based storyline. Next, we have that the main city is where you always come back, similar to Legends Arceus, but as a real open world, meaning that in the open world, if you decide to continue with the main story mission, you will be directed right back to the main city as shown in the trailer. Not sure what the city would be called just yet. There have been leaks and rumors. If you think you know what the city will be called, let me know in the comments down below. Next, we have the big building, the Sagrada Senpaila alike. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. All my Spanish friends, you guys could let me know in the comments down below whether or not I did botch the name. But apparently, it's actually a school. We did hear some rumors that the big building was actually a school based on the trailer showing us a couple of persons looking like to be students walking away from the entrance or exit of the front of the big building so it may be a school who knows then we have that the main teacher acts as a pokemon professor now to see a pokemon game without a pokemon professor in a lab that is doing studies on pokemon and giving us our requests and tasks would be a bit strange but this 4chan post does state that the teacher acts as a Pokemon professor and not that the Pokemon professor is your teacher, which is a totally different concept. The post goes on to say that some classmates are the rivals, similar to the Carlos friends, meaning that your rival isn't going to be one person that you get to name your best friend or your worst enemy. It's actually going to be a group of kids that are all a part of your class of that year that you are in. I guess it would be 2022. Of course, we know that the game is open world, which means you can go outside the city to explore everything without a limit to a transition screen. For those who don't know, Legends Arceus had a semi open world concept, which means there were loading screens between the main area and other exploring areas. However, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet claims that it is a true sense of the open world feel, meaning you can walk directly from the city to the end of the map and walk all the way back passing through every route on that map. Next, we have that the teachers give you main quests as homework. Once you end one, you go back to the school. And this, I guess, is the focus of the main story for this game, doing quests for the teachers as homework. Now, we must realize that the person said teachers are not teacher. They did before mention that it was that your Pokemon professor was the main teacher, and then they further go on to say that you have other teachers that give you quests as homework. Would this be something similar to the requests side missions that we had in Pokemon Legends Arceus? Or will this be the main story missions will be left to see when the game releases. Finishing the main quest advances the plot and makes you able to face the next final test. Final tests are the ones that act as gyms or trials in this game, meaning that we just had our question answered. And the main quests are like final tests in this game, which seems like a, a big twist on Pokemon and how we've experienced it before, but a really cool idea that would be exciting to explore. 
There are other cities and towns and you can visit them whenever you want to but the events won't activate until the teacher gives you the quest for that city or town. Now in the trailer we didn't see much villages, towns, cities as the person calls it. In the trailer we did see the one big main city. We did see some parts of the city on the inside and on the outside and it looked to be the same place. This could have been multiple places on the map, but being shown the same place as an expansion. However, the person in the 4chan says that this is actually new and multiple cities and towns. This would suggest that the map is about the size of Pokemon Legends Arceus without the loading screens. That would be awesome to see. The main villain is from the school and they go on further to say that the legendary plot is introduced at the end of the main story connected with the main villain. Now this means that similar to like Volo in Pokemon Legends Arceus, the main villain was connected to Giratina in that game uh, which also led you to be able to catch Arceus in Pokemon Legends Arceus. However, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the 4chan leaker quote unquote is suggesting that the main legendary plot is, is connected to the main villain of this region and that the access to the legendary pokemon in this game is after the main story which means it's post game content or post story content as we call it he then says that at the end of the plot you graduate from school i guess this could give us an estimate of what the age of our character is and it would seem that if it is high school, our character may be around 16 or 17, most likely 16. If it's from elementary school, our character is around 11 years old or 12. And if it's high, if it's college, then our character is around 21. But based on the footage that we see in the trailer, we could suggest that he is the first one that we mentioned, which is around 16 years old. He also goes on to say that graduates can access the region's Pokemon League, which means that this will also be accessible post-game. The Pokemon League is, is similar to like Cynthia's uh, Road to Cynthia or the Battle Tower, I guess. It will be left to see how it's integrated into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Last but not least, for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's story is the main plot, which ends once you're the champion as always now guys let me know in the comments down below do you think that we can trust this 4chan post it has been causing quite the heat on the pokey leaks reddit let me know in the comments down below if you believe any of these things that we mentioned if you believed none of them and let me know in the comments down below which starter are you going to be choosing are you going with squaxly are you going with fue coco are you going with the spragatito let me know in the comments down below. It was your boy Firefox. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, peace out.